What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stat Street Sports Channel. I'm your host, Jarrell Hicks. Here to break down the beef between Kwame Brown, the legend, versus all the smoke, Matt Barnes, Steven Jackson, and also Gilbert Arenas. Let's get right into it. So first off, disclaimer, there will be no videos of either party in this video. So if you want to see what actually, if you haven't seen what they actually said, or you haven't heard it yet, whatever, find that video and then come back here. I'm just reacting to it, breaking down the video, stuff like that. Well, just reacting to it. I'm not breaking down anything, to be honest. But this is funny. This is hilarious. And um, I just seen the video. So first off, how about all started? All the Smoke uh, podcast. And I haven't seen All the Smoke since season one. After season one, I was kind of good on it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't great like I thought it was at as it first started. It was still cool. But Gilbert was on, I think it's season two, season three, whatever it is, season two, if I'm not mistaken. Gilbert Green was on, you know, he's very opinionated. He has, he has his own show on FUBU TV, which I enjoy a lot as well. I watch here and there sometimes. And he, you know, strong opinionated guy, brought up Kwame Brown. The, the, the topic of Kwame Brown being a bust was brought up. We all know in sports circles, especially in basketball, Kwame Brown is legendary. He is synonymous with being a basketball bust. Now, and that's thanks to Stephen A, actually. So, well, his play as well, too. But uh, Kwame Brown responded first time in years. We've seen him or heard of him, heard from him. I honestly haven't heard Kwame Brown speak since he retired, which is, I don't know when he retired, but I haven't heard him speak since. So, you know, it's been a long time since we heard or seen from Kwame Brown. And uh, he made some valid points. He made some valid points. The reason why I'm not playing those clips in this video is because he did cuss a quite about a, a cuss cuss a quite a bit amount. Did I say that right? I think I did. But he did cuss a bit. I don't want to know blur stuff out, all that stuff. You no, know, go find that and then come back here, listen to it, and hear my reactions from it. But he made solid points. He made great points, man. And um, as we, as we said, when you're a bust, your label is that because you're a play. But at the same time. You are able to take care of your family, you know, and he's, as he said, since he was 18, I believe came out of high school. Since he was 18, Kwame Brown put his uh, his mom on a golf course. If you, if you don't know, having a house on a, on a golf course is a lot of money, you know, and a great property, but a lot of money. And he did that since he was 18 years old, which is great, you know, and that's the, even if you are a bust, you are able to take care of your mom. And your family and your household and your community, whatever you want to do with your money, you have the choice to do that because a bust usually is a high rated prospect, high pick prospect uh, that, that, that didn't live up to hype, didn't, didn't live up to the potential. And uh, just on the field alone, you can be a great guy off the court, Kwame Brown, which you don't understand, but you know, it's, on, it's only on the court stuff. That's why the bust is labeled the bus label goes to him and other guys because you know on the court you didn't live up to potential but he did make some great points some great rebuttals awesome rebuttals funny rebuttals like i said if i could post them here i, I would but too much cussing but uh he makes some good points man calling uh matt barnes becky with the good hair steven jacks not getting into that you know the game banger slash activist i'm not gonna get into that you know with the george Floyd stuff they were real cool whatever but uh it was just funny it was funny, man. I enjoyed the back and forth. Nothing wrong with the back and forth talk. As uh, Kwame Brown said himself, he's not going to get physical. It's not a physical thing. It's just a war of words, which is a cool thing to see. So, uh, But it's good to hear from Kwame Brown. It's good to see him. Good to hear from him. You know, I didn't think, you know, hearing from Kwame Brown would be funny. He's hilarious. Uh, that country accent, ac accent, excuse me, the little twang to his voice is funny. You know, and like I said, I haven't heard him talk since he retired. I don't know what year that was, so it's good hearing from a man. But that's it for the reaction, guys. Uh, who do you think won the beef? All the smoke plus Gilbert Arenas or Kwame Brown? I think easily consensus goes so far to Kwame Brown. You know, I think uh, I think he won it, man. I, th I think it's over. Um, he got on IG Live. He got a YouTube channel as well, Kwame Brown Bust Life. So go follow that. It's funny. It's funny, man. So shout out Kwame Brown. Shout out all those guys mentioned. Test it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.